Welcome to the Sneers Morgan Show, your nightly dose of intelligent discussions sprinkled with the art of deflection. Tonight we're diving deep into the world of politics and no, you can't switch the channel, I've locked it. Just kidding. Our guest this evening is a man who marries satir with sensibility, Blade you just. Thanks for having me Sneers. It's not every day I get to sit down with someone who has such an intricate relationship with the trust. Flattery will get you everywhere, Blade. Now let's dive into this complex matter between Harboria and Fensland. Harboria has been firm in stating they are simply defending themselves against the aggressions of Fensland. Surely you can't argue with self-defense. Ah, self-defense. That's what my cat says every time he knocks away his off the shelf. I was merely defending myself against the oppressive tyranny of porcelain. You see, Sneers, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it should try to demolish Carthage in one. Yes, the Romans say they were defending civilization, but what they really meant was, Hey Carthage, you're standing on our future swimming pool. Now come on, you're oversimplifying history. Ah, history. The land where everyone is the hero in their own narrative, just ask George Orwell. In his world of 1984, self-defense was a tiny double sink special right next to Ignorus Strange. You can't just compare reality to a dystopian novel. Why not? Some days it's like I wake up in a Kafka choose your own adventure book, flipping between an Aurelian dystopia and Monty Python rerun. Nations have rights to protect their interests, you know? Interests? Ah, the ultimate political comfort food. Interests are what Helen of Troy was to the Greeks, a beautiful constructed alibi. No, no, we're not here to colonize. We're just looking for our lost uh, interests. Blade, you can't simply dismiss Harbori's claims. They reported 40 million color dolls. Clear evidence that Fensland is a threat. Even some of the most progressive nations are using it's an argument against Fensland. What's your take on that? Ah, Sneers, you know how it is. Some people in super woke republics, countries are like yoga enthusiasts who've just discovered a new pose, easily bent out of shape. One minute they're hashtag activists for one cause, and the next minute they're inflamed over colored dolls. A claim that has as much verified evidence as Bigfoot playing poker with the Loch Ness Monster. But it's causing a shift in public opinion. People are genuinely concerned. Concern is a tricky word, Sneers. Sometimes it's less about genuine care and more about the trending hashtag. Fans that has been sharing documented atrocities for over 15 years but a claim about those unverified, I might add, suddenly turns the sympathy, see so? That's not concern, that's selective drama. It's like changing your favorite sports team every week based on who's trending on Blabbernet. People are angry, Blade. They want justice. What's wrong with seeking justice? Ah, oh, justice. A noble quest indeed. Like King Arthur in search of the Holy Grail, but instead of Excalibur, we have blubbernet rants and memes. How medieval. You're trivializing serious issues here. No, what's trivial is turning a blind eye to proven atrocities while chasing rumors like a dog chases its tail. My point is, if you're going to be outraged, at least let it be consistent and not just a weekend hobby. But these are real claims. People have made these claims. And people claim the world was flat, sneers. Some even claim that reality TV stars make excellent politicians. Claims need evidence, not just reblabs and likes. So you're saying the super woke republics are wrong for wanting to take action? I'm saying a guest for justice without due diligence becomes a reality show of its own. The one where the stakes are terrifyingly real and the casualties aren't just TV ratings. Well Blade, we're running out of time, which is probably the best news I've had all day. Ah Sneers, time the only thing more elusive than verified evidence from Harboria. Okay, final thoughts for our audience, preferably something less cheeky. Fine, let's get serious. We live in an era where hashtags can start wars and cancel carriers, where we choose our truth based on what makes us comfortable, rather than what's uncomfortable but necessary to hear. If we're going to jump on bad wagons, let's at least make sure they're hidden somewhere meaningful, not just the nearest clip. Ah, and who gets to decide what's meaningful? 
I'd say the people suffering under the jackpot of oppression get first dibs, wouldn't you? Or shall we leave it to keyboard warriors and armchair pundits to dictate their fate? Touche, Blade, touche. It's been real, Snares. Keep fighting the good fight, even if it's only against your own better judgment. And that's a wrap for tonight, folks. Another evening of intellectual somersaults and moral gymnastics. I want to thank my guest, Blade Uges, for turning my show into a psychological roller coaster. And to our audience, keep questioning, keep doubting, and most importantly, keep your sense of humor because, trust me, we're going to need it.